guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to talk about Metabo HPT's new cordless shop vac. Pretty cool little device. This is not going to be a super long video, but if you get something out of this, please click that subscribe button and click the bell icon if you want to be notified every time we're putting out fresh content. All right, that's out of the way. Uh, pretty simple. I know most of you've probably used a vacuum before or a shop vac. Uh, the cool thing about this vacuum is it is cordless or corded. You decide which one you want to do. Today, we're going to show you both, but we got it loaded with two uh, multi-volt batteries. So it'll, t it'll run on one battery, it'll run on two batteries, or it'll run on AC power, which is kind of cool. So you have some options there. So basically, when you fire this thing up, it goes into, it goes into medium mode. There's three modes. There's slow, medium, and high. So I'm gonna turn this back on. There's high. That's loud. Wow. Isn't that amazing? All right, and you know what's really cool? In case you don't feel like pulling the lid to check if your bat what your battery levels are, there's a convenient button right on the front of this thing. Boom, hit that. Oh, I got full power. I can keep vacuuming, lucky me. All right, so there's that. So uh, there's a removable uh, hose. So you just put your finger up in here like that, bam. It's kind of like a quick connect and it just clicks back in. All right, so on the back of this baby, so there's a latch right here. You pull that up and that exposes your batteries. Uh, so we're running two multi-volt batteries, uh, 36 volts at, at four amp hours each. So uh, you probably got eight amp hours total with two four volt or two 36 volt batteries. And then you can also check your bar indicators back here to see what your battery level is. But like I said earlier, don't have to. That locks down. Convenient carrying handle, you know, for those uh, times where you gotta move it too far or gotta carry it around. So that's kind of cool. So it comes, it comes with a couple different attachments, like this one you use in your car all the time, you know, to get through the uh, crusty stuff in the in the seats, that kind of thing. That, that's handy. Comes with an extension, so your extension goes on like that. And then if you want, you can unloosen this and extend this out and tighten it up, so you can have a longer reach with this uh, extension, which is kind of cool. Um, and then there's also a floor adapter for vacuuming your hard floors or your shop floors. I'm not sure where that went. I think Andy has it. So give him a, a jingle and find out where my floor uh, roller is, okay? So for today, we're just gonna take this off. It's a very, very handy feature. And it lets you like vacuum while you're standing up, which I'm down with, but today we don't need it. So let's just check this out. So we're gonna do some suction on low, on medium, and on high to show you guys how well it works. And then we're going to open this thing up and take a look inside and, and, and see how this thing filters. So it's got like a HEPA style filter on it. So it keeps the dust extraction to a minimum. It doesn't blow like my old shop vac. I was using it in my house the other day when I was doing some floors. I got in trouble because it blew dust all over the house. I mean, a freaking mess it made and I feel terrible about that. So now I can take my new cordless multi-vac and I can HEPA filter all the way around the house and not make a big mess of dust, okay? So that's what's really cool about this vac. Uh, but we're gonna start off on low. All right, here we go. Yeah, that, that worked pretty good. Um, amazing. Okay, so now I'm gonna do on speed two. Not bad, not bad at all. But now we're gonna put it in the mode I'm always gonna have it in, which is three and see how well that does. Oh. 
lickety splits on three, I think. All right. So now you've got, you know, you're done for the day, whatever, or you want to clean out your vac. All you got to do is lift these two levers, like so. Top of this comes off, all right? So it's like a traditional suction ball type um, filter area right here. But then they've got a, another pre-filter that goes inside of the chamber that this rests on, so it creates more suction, but less dust. Okay, and then you pull that out and that's where your sawdust is in there. This thing's easily cleanable. You can wash it or just blow it off or just dust it off if you want. So that's where the dust goes. Um, and it's, so it's kind of like it's in its own separate area inside the vacuum, which I think is kind of brilliant. Besides that, uh, the one last thing I want to show you guys is the versatility of the multi-volt platform. All right, so I'm gonna take these batteries out. Let's say they died, or you just don't have a charged one, or for whatever reason, your multi-volt battery goes dead. You can take your power adapter. Uh, now, the vac is, is designed for one side. So what I did is I took this, this part out, and it's just a, a cap that, that encloses it in case you're only running batteries and you don't ever use an adapter. But you take that off, now it's a corded vacuum, all right? So, put this baby back up. Got a little more dust on the table. So now, now that you plug it in, you're good to go. Never lose a suction. Pretty good. So, we're really excited to have this tool. We're gonna to implement it onto our job site. So you'll see it in the background being used for different reasons. Um, we probably will not hook it up to a chop saw. We'll use this strictly as a, an area vacuum and wait, you know, things to clean out our trailer or dust that's in the way, concrete dust, that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Like I said before, if you like what you saw or you learned something today, please click that subscribe button, tell your friends and your family about us, and uh, click that bell icon if you wanna be notified every time we're putting out fresh content. Thanks for watching, have a great day.